hi let's continue doing the head and we're going to finish the head in this lecture let's see how to do that so here you saw how you can use quadro to you know create this uh, polygons you can use different tools to you know extend the edge loops or you no know, extruding to delete things and let's do this part so hold tab and again i'm going to use the you know, shift with the tab to change the mouse or you can again hold control shift and we can go to this menu as well so let's go to border here hold tab and you now extrude here and let's extrude till i reach the shape here and let's so you can see i need to fill this area so uh, i can do one thing so let's again hold tab and right mouse to change the option to is so that i just can you now extrude this thing so let's extrude and just feel this area I'm going to feel i think th this is fine so let's i'm going to delete this side so let's let's don't adjust that side basically trying to fill the whole hypole area here okay that's fine and next we are going to adjust you now put some points more points to you can see to you know get a better topology here so again it depends on how or uh, what's your polygon budget always in production they give you a poly budget for the character let's say 10,000 um, 15,000 if it's a, a triple a game then maybe higher so most of the times they give kind of 15 to 20,000 uh, maximum so for that i think we can add a little bit but still you need to keep in mind this try section you can let's say you want to count this tries you can let's go to the select tool first and now we are in a component mode so hold right mouse and go to object now let's select the isolate here so let's click on this little icon or go to so view isolate view selected to hide that high poly and now you can see i have just you no know, selected this low poly and you can see the tries still the tries is visible there so let me let me select it like this the face and you can see the tries 410 that means the poly budget i have like raised is 410 so we count kind of this and this should be kind of like 12 to 20,000, whatever the poly budget you have given. So let me turn off the view selector and again let's go to quad draw. Again, you can anytime like get out of the quad draw to just to see the object how it looks, and again you can come back to quad draw. And let's uh, put some you no know, polygons and let's create a little bit higher side low poly. And I'm going to put this eye. You can see I have eight. So let's put one between everything. So hold control and middle mouse to get one edge loop like this. Hold control and get at the middle. If you don't hold and uh, don't click with the middle mouse, it's going to add right there, which I don't want. Hold control to you now get this topology or insert as tool and click middle mouse to you now get the point or get the edge loop again let's add one here here basically every corner basically it should be 16 somewhere i think i i don't remember if i add that so let's go to select tool and let me go to face mode and double click select this face and double click this face you can see i have 15 that means i need to put one more so i think i didn't put this one yeah so now i got 16 means i just divided that 8 to double and then let's hold shift and adjust these things now i have a kind of you no know, higher side locally here and let's adjust everything here topology should be smooth I 
need to adjust this eye area I'm trying to keep this line to that eyelid so trying to matching with the high poly details here so if you have something there just try to match with the high poly lines and uh, let me I think this is fine so then I'm going to extrude this whole thing here so hold tab and right mouse and let's set to uh, border and then extrude it to get that you no know, eyelid thickness there let's adjust this one and then I'm going to like fill this uh, let's extrude once again then we're going to fill it and beware like can get like this so let's put those things back and we're basically going to fill this inter inside eye and there would be the eyeball separate so it's just to fill there okay so just uh, fill so i'm going to or you can keep like this i think or let's fill it so I can do one thing let's so this is the center here this is the center here so let's put one here at the center and let's put one for this one and then this one let's do the same thing this one so let's create these things so here if you have some triangles I think that's fine So this should be connected this line should go to this line okay so I think I need one more here okay like this this is good and then let's put one more here so that undo I think it should be like this yeah okay, now I just need to fill this Make sure this line is continuing and this line is continuing. Let's position it. So you feel that you no know, inside eye area. Sometimes it should be kind of inside, but my high poly has this kind of shape, so I cannot move now. But we can move later. So then let's move these things to the top of the eyebrow so that. It's always the low poly should cover the high poly that means uh, the high poly shouldn't stick out from the low poly like this so if it's there you might get some baking errors or you might get bad normal maps detail so make sure the high poly is like most of the uh, area is covered by high poly uh, the low poly and I think this is good and let's hold shift and adjust these things then I'm going to add some, you know, inside the leaf here. Again, middle mouse click. Sometimes these things are tricky, so it's better to do half side. So let me delete the half. So first, let me isolate it, and then let's go to front view. Just click here and go to front view here, and let's delete all the faces. Once I'm done with this side, then we're going to you know, duplicate that side okay then let me come back you can click and again to get out of the isolate mode so let's hold control and click middle mouse okay that's fine i don't know what is this it's in here okay let's say that letter so let's then i think everything is looking good here i don't like this no topology flow it doesn't you know important here it's not that important but I think I can make it a little better so hold control shift to delete any edge loop you can see if I want to delete this edge loop I can hold control shift and left click on that when it's like yellow highlighted and you can see the mouse cursor uh, icon here you can delete anything and let's hold shift and relax so here I'm trying to like make it as little simple not that complex no Thing going on there let me put an edge loop here let's see okay I think this is good 
some loops here and i need to you know clean this this side here okay i think we are done with this part here and i just need to make this center line straight as you can see it's not straight at all we need to straight it and then we can you know, like mirror it so let's again go to select tool and right mouse and go to object mode of this model and then let's uh, then let's isolate by clicking on this icon and here you can see i'm getting something here so let's go to front view and again you can see isolate works only on particular active view you can see the perspective is isolated but not this view so you need to do it again so let's go to selected and you can see it's not aligned properly with this line so let's select this edge loop double click to select the whole edge loop and you can see i selected that but i also selected these loops which i don't want so let's this select by holding control and drag make sure this center is selected not these things and i think that is good before i do that i want to delete these faces so there are double faces so let's control deselect and i have just selected those and hit delete from the keyboard just delete those and go to edge and let's delete select the edge and deselect these edges holding control drag make sure everything is selected and now to align those lines to here i can do one thing i can go to the move tool and let's go to go to this box here and go to x and put zero here and it's going to move every edges individually to the zero area which is the grid line the center area now everything is snapped to that line okay that's the quick trick to do that and now i think i had selected that so that's why i need to move these things make sure you have not selected any wrong edges to do that you can see i had selected few edges which i didn't want to select like this okay i think that's good let's put zero again I think that is good then we can mirror it so let's go to mess and mirror here option box reset it it should work it's set to x axis and everything else should work by default let's click on it and whenever you do this make sure let me undo it yeah make sure let's go again and mirror make sure this value is low this merge threshold value you can see it's like pulling distance vertices to merge so make this value close to zero so if we set zero it's not going to merge anything so we cannot put that so let's put point zero zero one which is the lowest value and it should merge only the center snapped vertices it needs a little bit adjustment requirements so let's say this area and this area just you know adjusting the vertices to arrange these things properly so i'm going to do that in between lesson so this is the way to do this and uh, the topology is very important this area so make sure you get that and in the next lecture we are going to start working on the body before i close this lecture make sure you save your maya file so let's go to file and save scene so i have already saved so you can go to save scene and it will ask something like this put a name and make sure it's set to my binary we have just two options so set to my binary which is the by default one and put a name here retopo maya or whatever this is the retopo object and save it and you can continue by just opening this file later uh, let's do the body in the next lecture